Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett. Welcome to class number one, more programming with Playgrounds in Swift 2.0. Um, those of you that are attending live, I'll take questions at the end. And those of you that are listening to via YouTube, um, if you'd like to join in the live sessions, they're every other Wednesday night. Go to my website and um, at excelme.com. Right here, go to free videos. And you can click here to uh, sign up for the GoToWebinar um, invites. And then you can also see the um, recorded uh, sessions, the ones that I've had for last year with the Swift 1.0 book. This is using the Swift 2.0 book. And you'll see the dates here right afterwards that, was, that have been updated. So right now, uh, we're doing, um, tonight we're doing the first and the second one that will be updated here. Um, and again, there every other Wednesday night, you can see the schedule. And then also, if you'd like to um, uh, take my, any of my courses, uh, you can just simply view this here. And there every Monday and Wednesday night. And we go through for six months. We go through the entire um, iOS um, uh, and iPad, iPhone. And we'll be doing tvOS uh, with the new Apple TV here starting in December. And I'll have the website updated here shortly for that. So enough about that. Let's get started um, using playgrounds and why we use playgrounds and how easy they are to learn with. So instead of starting out with a big fancy um, interactive development environment, IDE, with Xcode and having to learn all the syntax and how to use Xcode to write an application, um, we can use playgrounds to really simplify and streamline the learning process. So I'm going to make a new playground by saying File, New, and select Playground. And I'm going to select iOS here for my playground type. And I'm going to, say, I'm going to save that on my desktop here, wherever I want to save it. And when it comes up, I have my playground, my interactive playground, that as I code, I can kind of see what's going on in my results column over here. So right now, I have a string um, called str. It holds a, multiple characters in it. It's called a string. And it is of a var, which means I can change the value of my string. And so if I want to make a string equal to, uh, say, Gary, Gary Bennett, I can go ahead and do that. Okay. If I want to say um, a new string that's a constant, is equal to Gary, um, actually, I can just say str plus. Now I can see my results here as I go. So str was equal to Gary Bennett. And now I added on or I append one string to another. And um, if I put a space there, I could, oops, if I put a space before the at, it kind of makes it format a little bit better. Um, so the advantage of playgrounds is we can learn the principles of programming, Boolean logic, um, that's conditional logic, and object-oriented programming, and all the Swift language very quickly in playgrounds. And then we're going to jump into, after chapter four of the book, we're going to jump into the Xcode IED, the Xcode IDE, <laughs> the inter interactive development environment, to accomplish what we want to accomplish, um, and write our iPhone apps and our Mac apps. So Playgrounds makes it real simple to learn. We're going to talk about variables. We're going to talk about um, data types. We're going to talk about conditional logic. And we're going to talk about object-oriented programming in the first four chapters before we wade heavily into, um, into the IDE and our app development. So those of you that are attending live, if you'd like to ask any questions at the end here, after I stop the YouTube recording, I'll take your questions. Just raise your hand in the GoToWebinar control panel or type it in the question panel, your GoToWebinar go to control panel. And those of you that are listening to the YouTube um, recording, you're welcome to join in uh, by visiting the website 
and um, look at the recording, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or register for the live courses. Live free courses or paid courses, up to you depending on how much help you think you need and how fast you'd like to get through it. Again, thanks for attending and look forward to seeing you in two weeks, uh, week, uh, two weeks from this Monday. Good night.